Welcome to our vlog. So I'm starting the vlog a little bit late, but we had some things that we we're doing earlier. Uh, we went by my PO box and then we went ahead and got some flowers and we went to Glenn's mom's grave and we visited her. stopped by my mom's to give her a mask because we were lucky enough where we had a three pack of masks that Glenn already had from before and we had one last one so we wanted to give her one so now we each at least have one and yeah just so she can wear it when she walks around because she does walk Nani twice a week uh, twice a day and um, she said there are other people who are wearing masks and it's just safe for her to wear it period and the reason why I had masks is because I use them at work and it was just an extra one that I had I use them because I try not to get cancer you know I like to be cancer free so that's the reason why I have those and um you know, those that's very essential for me because I am an essential worker. So I decided um, I'm going to show you today what I'm going to make. I am making mahi mahi, and then I am also making it with a cream sauce that I like to make. It's a garlic lemon cream sauce. I'm going to panko up the mahi mahi this time, and then we also have sausages. It is like my favorite pack of sausages that we make. Um, I make it with onions, and Glenn calls it like bangers and mash, but it's not necessarily bangers and mash, but it tastes really, really good. Do I look super glowy right now? I can't tell. I don't have any foundation on. Just pull my hair back because I don't want my hair in my face when I'm cooking, so. Okay, woo! Also, you guys, Glenn got a new car! So tell him what car you got. It's actually a new truck. A new, oh yeah, sorry, a truck. So. Brand new. I Since I lost my old truck in a fire, I love that truck. I had that truck for 10 years, no problems, nothing, right? So I was like, I always knew I'm gonna get a truck again, especially if we're planning to have a family babies pretty soon so i was like you know what there's a truck and i saw it. we went to the car show last year and we saw it and i was like this is it i found it you know so it's a 2020 dodge ram rebel 1500 4x4 um what the hemi i love it it has a crew cab so it's like a extra cab in the back and i, I mean i got a decent sized bed so you know when it's it comes big. it's big enough you know for just for everyday things so you know this is my new um my uh my new everyday i'll use it to take to work and then come back but it's perfect for our little ohana that we're trying to make oh wow and, uh, oh wow you know we'll see we'll see how it rolls you know i'm gonna i probably toss some high light sticker on there you know what i'm saying Choo. oh um, my gosh bless you so my my bill you know <laughs> um but you know we'll, we'll see i'll as it goes along, you'll probably see it change and morph into something that's my own because I like to do that. That's just me. Yeah, but he's super excited. It's really, really nice and it is huge inside, like so big. I said it's basically like an SUV, but a truck. But a truck. It's uh -huh. huge. I can't even believe how big the back seat is and the front. Yeah. So, and it's great too because we're saying if we do any road trips or anything, we can have Wi Fi connect. And there's also an outlet so I can put my um, laptop and charge it up everything and i won't get majorly like car sick because in his challenge what a baby <laughs> in his challenger oh my gosh i would get car sick a lot of the times and you guys just never knew because it's just so bouncy i mean that was his like dream car and i'm glad I i'm not gonna lie i'm kind of glad he got this car because <laughs> it is so nice really proud of him and i'm so happy he was able to get a new car so now um, I'm gonna start prepping dinner. I'm gonna start off with our mashed potatoes. I'm just taking like two regular size and a little tiny potato. So we're gonna go ahead and cut that. Boil that in some water. 
I had to bust out my big tripod so I can use my hands. Okay, so I have two Mahi Mahi right here. I defrosted them. We get these from Costco. And then this is the smoked sausage that I like to make. They do also have a hot smoked sausage. Um, that one's a little spicy, but this one is just plain. I kind of like this because it goes really well with like the caramelized onions I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make this one super easy. Sweet yellow onion and cut this baby. Bring this to a medium heat. And then we're gonna take some olive oil drizzle that all in the pan love caramelizing my onions so i'm gonna let that sit right in the pan and start sweating out in the meantime we're just going to take our smoked sausage and just start cutting this up i usually just half it like this and then cut it straight down the center and then you can just bring this around and then just start chopping it so now that i'm just kind of sweating out the onions and i have the sausage is already cut. I'm gonna take some garlic and I'm gonna mince this and put this on the side. I'm going to be using this for the sauce that I'm gonna put over the fish. So just keep this on the side and then also I'm gonna grab a small lemon. Literally very, very small and I'm gonna use it for the sauce as well. And I'll just put those on the side. And this is the garlic I like to get. I don't know, I just like how it's already peeled. And yeah, it just keeps it fresh for a long time. I like fresh garlic. You can also use minced, but I found that you get the best flavor, flavor. <laughs> you get the best flavor, flavor with fresh. So you just do like a splash of milk right there. My salt, just season to your liking. Fresh black pepper. I like this grinder because it has like these three little dots here. Let me zoom you out. It has these three little dots. You can do like fine, medium, and like really coarse. So just kind of hit the, the middle one. And then to make them a little bit fluffy and light, I like adding some heavy whipping cream. Just just gives like a little bit of fluff to them. And then obviously just mash. And that's easy. I like getting all the sides done first just so I don't have to rush them. And then these ones are like super easy just to reheat. I almost forgot one of the most important ingredients, butter. Gotta add your butter. More butter, more better. Okay, so I took out the onions. I just went ahead and transferred them into a bowl. And now in the same exact pan, I'm going to add the sausage and just cook those babies up. My main goal is not to use too many pots. Okay, now we got our creamy mashed potatoes. Super easy to make. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and set these on the side. And again, I didn't use too many potatoes so that I don't have like any leftovers. Just like two big scoops for each of us. Love each sausage. Now that sausages are almost done, we're gonna put some flour on a plate. We're going to put some panko breadcrumbs on a plate. And then, oh, sorry, a panko. I grabbed these ones. I don't know why I grabbed these ones too. So all we need are panko and a flour bowl. You're just going to beat two eggs. And I just added like the lightest splash of milk right there. We have our egg wash right here and we're gonna start breading our fish. What I do is I just take a paper towel and just kind of wipe down on my pan again. I swear this pan is one of the best. I'll try to link it down below. It's like my favorite one, but just get all the extra crud. Now what I'm going to do is prep the fish. Some canola oil and place that in the pot. Kind of need a good amount so that your fish will fry. Salt. You can actually use kosher salt, but I'm just going to use salt again. Hit it with the pepper. Now, people will usually put seasonings in here. Honestly, I don't really do that. I like to place it directly on the fish. So I'm going to take some lemon pepper on each side, paprika, and this is just how I do it. I mean, if you guys have your own method, then totally do that. Oops, this is a brand new one, so it's at the top. Some paprika, onion powder, garlic. Flip this baby. And then I also hit it with the seasonings again, except the lemon pepper because it has salt in it already. So we like lots of flavor, you guys. Season to your own liking. Egg, flour, egg, panko. That's how I do it. And then after the oil will get nice and hot and we'll start frying these babies up. Egg, just flip it over. I'm going to dip it in the flour. Just coat it right here. Just coat it, dust off any flour, back into the egg mixture, flip it over. The panko crumbs, right here. It gets messy, you guys. I need to keep one hand clean for filming. Coat it all the way around, right there. Get all underneath, flip it, and just pat it. 
yeah, I'm just going to do one with you guys because the oil's ready and I want to get the other fish going so they cook at the same exact time. I don't recommend like doing one fish and then putting in another fish, putting in, I like putting them all at the same time so that they cook at the same time. Sometimes you can forget which one went in longer, then the other one gets cold. It's a whole sitch, so. Okay. Okay, now a trick I use in order to know that the oil is ready is you put in a, oh, is it bubbling? Yep, it's slowly bubbling. You put in a chopstick or a wooden spoon and when you start seeing like the little bubbles going, that means it's ready. And that's the timer for garlic bread. Fish in, right there. And remember, try to put everything in at the same time so that they don't cook at different speeds. And right there. Now you need to make sure you have a good amount of oil, so I'm probably going to have to add just a little bit more. Just so you really make sure you fry these babies up. Now, when I fry it, I'm like at a low medium because I don't want to cook them too quick because I want to make sure I cook inside the fish. Because you don't want inside, obviously, raw. And then this is the time where I'll kind of just clean up right here. As you can see, I don't have too much of a mess because I always like cleaning up as I cook. It's much easier, less hassle. Then I'm going to turn on the mashed potatoes, start heating them up, putting them on a simmer just so that they're a little bit warm. And then I'll just fire them up when we're ready to eat. Now, I know I'm going to get asked how long do you cook on each side. Honestly, I'm going to do a guesstimate. I feel like I cook on each side about five to six minutes. Uh, it all depends on the thickness of your fish, how long your fish is, all of that. So, sorry, I kind of also just do like a little tong check where I push on it, it feels firm, then I know it's cooked. I know that sounds weird, but if you know how Mahi Mahi cooks, that's what helps me. Okay, this isn't the lid for the pot, but I usually put the lid on just so it like keeps in all the heat and it helps cook it, cook it all the way through. Okay, sorry, our house is not gonna explode. That's the wash and dryer going. So now I'm gonna go ahead and flip the fish. They look like they have a nice brown to them. Well, let's see. I just kind of like to check them sometimes to make sure that they're not burning. Ooh, look at that crispy golden brown. Right there. I'm gonna go ahead and give them a little flip. Go ahead and give a little flip. I just burned myself on the edge. I don't know if you guys saw me flinch back. And look at that, perfection, okay. Now we're gonna cover that right there. So now we're gonna start off with the cream sauce I like to make on top of the Mahi Mahi. This one is like one of my favorites, you have no idea. I honestly just made it up on the spot one day. So you're gonna go and take your two tablespoons of butter. I'm trying, I'm trying to give measurements. Honestly, I eyeball this cup of heavy whipping cream. Again, it all depends on how much you're making as well. That's what I figured. Okay, wait, shoot, I put in the whip, okay, shoot. I wasn't supposed to put the whipping cream, I mean the heavy whipping cream now. It's okay, we're gonna stick in that garlic. Now I put a lot of garlic. We love garlic in our house, right to there. And we're gonna cook that. We're gonna put this on like a low medium. Ideally, I was supposed to get the butter and the garlic and cook it together. Sorry guys, I messed up. I'm trying to like do everything and film these videos. And it's very hard when I'm trying to do all this on my own, so, okay. Also, our fish is looking very good, if you see that from the side. Okay, fish is almost done, so we gotta get this sauce going. Uh, I turn up the heat, it's at a nice medium, right there. We have the garlic cooking with the butter and whipping cream. Now I'm gonna hit this with some fresh cracked pepper, right there. A little bit of salt. That's to taste. I'm just gonna mix that. Now we're gonna squeeze in half that small lemon. I like using, whoops, I have it upside down. I like using this because one of my pet peeves, I have realized, is getting seeds inside of a sauce. Kind of stir it. I put up, oh shit, I kind of stir it. And I just taste test it to see if it tastes good. Mm. Okay, that needs, this is good. More pepper. And more salt. Mm -hmm. The potatoes are fried? Mm -hmm. Okay. Fish is done. I'm going to go ahead and plate those. 
Okay, sorry guys. I'm trying to do this sauce right now, and um, I was trying to add pepper and stuff like that. Maybe I'm just like nervous because I'm filming right now, but I went ahead and took the fish out. I like putting on a paper towel just so it soaks up some of the extra oil. And then I'll just kind of flip it the other way, right there, just to absorb some of it, you know, just so it's not too oily. And let's get back to the sauce. Uh, like I said, I just kind of just add it to taste. It's like garlic, butter, lemon, and cream. It's a garlic, butter, lemon, cream sauce. There you go. Um, I think it was tasting off because I forgot to cook the garlic ahead of time with the butter. Needs more lemon, just a little bit more. And I think we are set. Uh, again, sorry about this sauce. It's honestly to taste. And it tastes really good over the fish and also the mashed potatoes. Take my sauce. I just needed to cook it a little bit more. Right here. Hold on. It's a little bit too bright. There we go. Right there. It should kind of have like that yellow tinge on it. I'm going to take that and put that right on top of the fish. Right there. And on the other. The mashed potato. Sometimes I'll put the fish on top of the mashed potato onto the potato right here and it tastes really good. There's the dish you guys. That's what I've been making. Um, we really like this dish. It's super, super tasty. Oh my gosh, this was so hard to film. But I'm a teat, my freaking sweet. All right guys, so here we go. Bon appetit. And sorry if it seemed rushed. I was just trying to get the timing of everything so nothing was super cold into my mahi mahi so you guys can see how nice and flaky it is and perfectly cooked and juicy okay guys that is going to be the end of the vlog let me take a bite of the fish just so i know that it's good mm, excellent actually really good i really like the sauce sorry it's just like hard because i eyeball it so i don't really know measurements i kind of just do it mmm Perfect. So let me know if you guys try it out. Tag me. Let me know. Do you guys have a similar recipe? But this one, I don't even know what I call it. It's honestly just my mahi mahi with my lemon garlic butter sauce. And yeah. All right, guys. I'm going to end the vlog because whew, I was like all over the place trying to bring my big tripod and all this. So I love you guys. Woo!